because I, I we get mocked, and I don't know if you guys are with me or not, but I get mocked. And for the longest time, I was in the closet about the fact I don't believe in what they say to be true. Now they try to make it so, oh, you believe the earth is flat. You're a flat earther. You're a science denier. You're a, you know, you're a creationist. No, don't give me labels. I'm not saying I know what is. I just know what isn't. There was never a big bang. Or there, there's no way they could possibly have that information, right? Once upon a time, for no reason, and nobody behind it, nothing blew up and created everything. Now, people want to sound smart. They'll say, oh, well, it was a moment of infinite mass and infinite density. What are you talking about? You don't even know what you're talking about. It's stupid. The story is nothing, not even outer space, just nothing, blew up. And then, for some reason, gas appeared and created particles which began to spin because of gravity, right? Gravity, you know, the thing that they think you're dumb if you go, what? That sounds stupid. I don't believe in gravity. But gravity, they just used to explain everything. So gravity then started spinning gas into little balls, which spun into bigger balls. And those balls became planets. Right? Meteors. Woo! Look at us! Wee! And then though they were just rocks for a long time. And for no reason those rocks started growing trees or something. Oh, but there was a primordial ooze. On one of these rocks, as far as we know, just one. There was a puddle formed. And there was gas and stuff because of gravity that hung around this ball of clay and that little gravity thing, blah, 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 and lightning and Oh, look, protein, a single cell. And that little single cell turned into two cells. And then those two cells turned into plants. And one day those plants turned into fish, right? That's the story. Just say it as it is. Oh, really? How did you get this information? Oh, we're good at math. We figured it out. So then the plants turned into fish. The fish decided to leave the water. So they grew legs. They had a baby one day. And that baby had, instead of fins, a pair of legs. And he goes, Mom, Dad, I feel like going for a run. And the mom and dad were like, what's a run? She goes, watch me now. And this fish crawled up on land. I guess he was a lizard or a frog or something. Luckily, just not feet away, same thing happened to another, another pair of parents. They had a daughter who grew legs. So they got married. And from then on, their babies all had legs. Evolution, <laughs> natural selection. And because they were the fastest running fish, they survived. I don't know what they ate or why, how they could breathe outside of the water, but who cares? Eventually they grew hair and became mice. And those mice grew up to be horses and cows and birds and a uh, humanoid, you know, we're the cousins of the chimpanzee. Did you know we're closer to chimpanzees than we are to all this nonsense, lies, those ridiculous lies. And then they say one day a monkey climbed out of a tree, ate some mushrooms, and became conscious and went, hmm, 
Oh, what is the nature of good and evil, I wonder? And that's what they believe, you guys. And they feel smarter than you if you question it. They go, oh, she's so dumb. She, she must not have good science education. Or she would never question Einstein, this pervert who made a baby with his own first cousin. No, married his first cousin, then cheated on his first cousin with his first cousin's daughter and gave her a baby. Einstein! Yeah, no. That's, if you want to believe in evolution, that's your guy. Or Darwin. I mean, but gravity is Einstein, you know. Nope, not me. I don't believe! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Don't go away. I'm begging you to stay. Cause I'm gonna miss your love. <laughs> Please don't go. Oh, really? Why? Because I'm gonna miss your love. <laughs> The minute you, you walk, walk out, out that, that door. door. But I gotta go to work, honey. No, <laughs> I'm gonna miss your love the minute you walk out that door. <laughs> hey, everybody. Okay, hey. Won't you consider becoming a patron? Patron? Not, no, that's not right. Like, um, patron. Yeah. I can't even say it. <laughs> Please become a patron saint. And support Buju Nana Buju, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. Click the links in the description to our Patreon page. And if you become a $25 a month Buju crew member, it's an exclusive club. <laughs> it's going to cost you some junia, some no. money. <laughs> no. Uh, you'll get a a cup, a coffee cup. Oh, you can wow. put your black medicine water in there. <laughs> Muckaday bush kiki wabu. Muckaday bush kiki. See, you're already learning a boy. 